and welcome back to the most amazing corner of the internet. I'm your host Rebecca Felgate and today we're talking about the top 10 mysterious websites that you should not visit. Before we get started I want to remind you to click on that big beautiful notification bell to stay up to date with all of our videos. We also have links to our merch in the description box down below so go forth my friends. Ok mysterious websites we're back. Epileptics be warned number 10 is not for you. We have Geordie.org. Um, so what the actual frog is going on here? This website is a seizure in a bowl, or web page, I guess. It kind of looks like we tapped into the Matrix mainframe, and honestly, I want to get out. It's flashing, it's big, it's bold. I don't know what this means, nor do I want to. Next up, we have a subreddit, and it's a mystery coming in at number nine. We have Bear with me. F04CB41F154DB2F05A4A. Got that? So, this is a mysterious subreddit written in Unix timestamp. I don't even know what that means. I had to Google it. So, this subreddit is some kind of code, and some people have cracked a few posts. Those that have been cracked tend to say things like, no one can survive and all will die. Good. Great. Glad we cleared that up. Let's get the long names out of the way, shall we? Okay, coming in at number eight. We have 973-eht-namu-973.com. Oh, 973-namu-973.com. An absolute fave of mine. What an absolute banger. Said no one ever. It's weird. This website is reportedly the work of a madman, an insane mathematician to be precise. At first, you're presented with numbers in some kind of pattern. The further into this site you get, the more the plot thickens and the more eerie it all gets. Artwork starts popping up and it's good, but it kind of makes my soul feel cold and detached. You'll also be treated to some sentences such as remembered and dismembered. All in all, the best way to die. I don't know about that. I think respectfully decline the remembering and dismembering. <laughs> yep, gonna be firmly giving this one a miss for now on, so you should do the same. This next one is actually a YouTube channel that you shouldn't visit. At number seven, we have Web Driver Torso. So, where to start? Web Driver Torso is a YouTube channel with 18 and a half million views and over 100,000 subscribers. I'm sure that each of the people who viewed their videos can't actually tell you what going on with them. The videos are comprised of shapes and sounds which are usually very piercing. These guys haven't uploaded in 6 months, but their channel is still very much there, although please don't visit it, it's weird. It's probably a trap or a trick or both. Some people are saying it's a test channel from YouTube, but I don't know, there's something very very sinister going on here. Coming in at number 6, we have Hecate Station. Like with a lot of websites on this list, I have no idea what's actually going on with this website other than it's mysterious and seems oddly sinister and I'm not sure if it's going to give my computer a virus. When you load up this page, you're confronted with three triangles. Clicking on one will lead you down a different path, some of which will lead you to a puzzle, other will give you clues to a password. You then stumble across password protected pages that are PDFs and I don't know, it's creepy. Creepier still, coming in at number 5, we have nobodyishere.com. This is baffling to me but I think think I actually kind of like it, but no, I, I have no idea what's going on whatsoever. Nobody'sHere.com is an existential crisis summed up on a web page. You're greeted with a man sitting at his laptop. If you turn your sound on and scroll up and down the words on the right, you'll see what he has to say. If you scroll really fast, he keeps typing and it's all very nonsensical but great. It's kind of like a stream of consciousness. I think I'm into it. You can also chat with a bot and look at a bug forum because why not? Like I said, I've got no idea what's going on and it probably will mess with your mind, but if you're into that then go get it. Coming in at number 4, we have whiteenamel.com. White enamel seems to be some kind of horrifying online gaming interactive movie or something. When the site launches, you're overlooking a town. You can see parts of it and there seems to be a sprawling mental asylum with scary sounds and scary rooms. Also, the page loading screens and needles that 
that kind of like stab fluid into you. It's like we the viewer are being injected and I don't like that, no sir. Coming in at number 3, we have FallingFalling.com. Ever had that sinking feeling? Well, you must be on FallingFalling.com where you're forever falling into some kind of colour warping rabbit hole. The sound too, jeez, the sound, it's very, very disturbing and I feel like it really gets me in the back of my neck, like the top vertebrae, it's just like and when does it end? It never ends, we're falling forever. Coming in at number 2, we have Possession Begins. Okay, I have to admit, this terrified me. I went on this website after stumbling across the link on a forum and it's pretty weird and unsettling. You get there and the site tells you to plug in earphones and close your eyes. The site then uses your camera to tell when your eyes are physically open or closed, which is very, very, very creepy. Creepier still, you hear a voice in your ear that will prompt you when to close and open your eyes, which nope. No thanks. You see all kinds of weird stuff, like a fly lying on its back dying and church window planes which are mysterious and totally horrifying. Just don't go there. Trust me. Okay, so let's end this absolute nope of a list with a happy but mysterious but actually maybe a tiny bit sinister website that you shouldn't visit. We have at number one, omfgdogs.com. OMFG, dogs. It sounds like my brain process when I go for a walk in the park. I'm like, Dogs. Maybe don't visit this website if you want to remain a dog lover though because I feel like it will subliminally turn you against them. That or you'll end up admitting that they are the true overlords which is something I've been thinking about for a while. If you do visit omfgdogs.com, be prepared for retina burning rainbows, cartoon dogs running, video game music and an endless stream of OMG. It's actually kind of hypnotizing and if you try and read the background it will either send you cross-eyed or make you physically sick. You also lose your mouse among all the pooches and it's just a lot. It's very 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 a lot. So that was the top 10 mysterious websites you shouldn't visit. Now hands up you foolish few who actually visited these. If you did let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. Also do let me know if there are any other creepy weird mysterious websites out there that I need to check out or not check out. Let me know. For now, I'm Rebecca Felgate. If you like this list, make sure you give it a good thumbs up, share it with a friend, and stay subscribed to Most Amazing Top 10. <laughs>